So we're talking about ideality and non-ideality here. So remember, an ideal gas is one that is uh, nonpolar, right? The one that is nonpolar and tiny. Because technically speaking, in an ideal gas, the gas particles themselves have no volume. Um, that's you know not realistic, but but it's a good approximation if there is a lot of space in between the particles. So an ideal gas is one that is nonpolar and uh, tiny. So ones that deviate the most from ideality. So the ones that are non-ideal are the ones that are big and the ones that are polar. Ones that are big and polar are the non-ideal ones. So this one says, which ones deviate the most from ideality? So they're looking for the one that is non-ideal. So big and polar. Well, polar is not an issue in any of these four because you are comparing an atom to itself in each of these diatomic cases. So for each of these cases, polarity is not a concern in this particular problem. So you're only looking for size. So add up the masses, and the biggest one is the most non-ideal. So that's 2, 71, 32, and 28. So chlorine is going to be the most non-ideal. This is the most non-ideal because it's the biggest. Hydrogen is the most ideal because it's the smallest. But it's looking for the one that's the non-ideal, so that would be the chlorine.